Okay, this is a WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications. And we're going to talk about how to insert text into a WordPress post or WordPress page. And by that I mean um, insert text that you've copied and pasted from another source, like uh, Microsoft Word document, PDF, um, a text editor, like on a PC, um, uh, word pad or uh, what's the other one called here let me look and see notepad if you're familiar with the text editors on a, on a Windows machine in uh, Macintosh you've got something called text edit which is very similar there's the blank page of, of text edit and um, you know you might say well why do I even need that uh, you know I can I can create my own um, post or page right in WordPress which is true but I'm, I'm guessing that um, most people have a need at some point or another to bring text in from somewhere else and it's good to know that there are a couple of different ways to do this um, and I've found uh, just looking at uh, WordPress using a Macintosh and Firefox that there are some big differences uh, in terms of what you can do on a Mac and what you can do on a PC and in this case uh, unlike most cases um, the good stuff happens on a PC for for WordPress when you import text so let me show you what I'm talking about um, we could take a, uh, a Microsoft Word document here I've got my window open to write and post okay so we'll create a um, uh, text post here for the title and I'm going to go get this uh, Word document that I've created especially for this purpose but you know you would be using a Word document from whatever and um, this one happens to have right some formatting kind of special formatting it's got red text that's in the font called Arial Black on the top um, I've turned some words blue and put bold on them and this uh, line here has the yellow highlighting that you see sometimes for um, uh, editing a page or you know, passing this back and forth to various people when they're reviewing a document and then I've got uh, some a numbered list here an, an unordered or a bulleted list and then a couple more paragraphs in the same kind of format okay not to mention the uh, kind of fancy font called Garamond in the body okay um, so what I'm gonna do what I propose is to highlight this whole thing. Okay, copy using Command C or Control C on a PC, and then I'm going to go to my WordPress uh, window, clicking in the Visual Text Editor, and now all you got to do, right, to bring the text in here, you you might think, is just go Command and V, and it pastes it in. So there you go. You got a decent looking. Um, set of text because the bullets came across right the num numbered list and the uh, bulleted list and uh, but otherwise where'd all our formatting go right it's gone well this doesn't happen on a PC it actually brings in all the formatting now let me point out real quickly um, that there are a couple other ways that you can bring text in but they don't seem to be that significant on a Macintosh so I'm clicking on this right hand button here in the toolbar and this is called uh, show hide the advanced toolbar okay um, now in here there are a couple of little buttons that will open up either paste as plain text or paste as uh, it says paste from word so I'm going to click on that paste from word document now I can't see it and there might be something better that's supposed to happen here but on on a Macintosh and Firefox I just paste that text right in All right now that's pasting from word and it keeps the bullets the, in the numbered list, but otherwise nothing else. And I'm going to insert there. Okay, so that puts that in after the first version. Now you can't even see any difference, except that this bulleted list is indented, um, and the numbered list is not. Why? Because there's a quirk in the in the Word document that makes it like that. You won't find out until you paste it in here. Okay, and the other option paste as plain text um, just control V pasting into that window 
Okay, you've got a, a little checkbox here for keeping line breaks. Um, you can mess around with that. And then I hit insert again, or I hit insert with that uh, paste test plain text box. And you see that it looks exactly the same, except the bullets this time are aligned, you know, flush left, just like the numbered list. So why is that? I really have no idea. You can, if you click on code here, okay, you will see the difference. That's the upper one. You'll see the difference between the two lists. Not that you would care about this, but if you want to see why one is indented, it's because it's got some some HTML tags that are formatting it that the other one does not. Okay, just FYI. All right, going back to the visual. Now I could publish that and look at it, and it would look almost identical in every case. Um, but what I want to do is show you something else, which is if I go to manage, okay, I don't really care about that. I'm going to say okay. Get a little alert that says, do you want to go away from this page because I'm not going to save anything that you've done here. Um, here is another post that I created. Okay, I'm just going to open it up. It's kind of prefab for this tutorial, but you'll see. Oh gosh darn it. You'll see, as I was saying, um, well, look at that. Okay, this is the same text, right, pasted into the visual text editing window that we have in our Word document. Go back here and look at that. See how it's pretty much exactly the same. And you go back here. Okay, now this has already been published. If I go and look at it, I can... Yeah, I thought it was published, and so I'll publish it now. Oh, I think I, I had saved it, but I had not published it, so I had a draft of it. Okay. And now if we go back out here to our blog and look at it, there it is. Okay, here was the other tutorial that we, or you know, the the post that we just created. But here's the other one that I copied and pasted. Now, how did I do that? Well, I opened WordPress on a PC, on a Windows machine. Okay, I took the same Word document with all the formatting that you see, copied it, pasted it in to the visual text editing window. Um, if I've got it here. Okay, you can see that the tags, if you happen to look at the code, they're, they're enormous. Uh, you know, there's a ton of, of tags in there. Very ugly. That's what's going to be in your web page, by the way. Um, but you have all the formatting. Okay, so I pasted in using uh, a Windows machine and uh, Firefox. And this is what I got, just pasted right into the window, the whole thing. So if I look, you know, it brought all that formatting in, including the semi-fancy, I don't know what, what uh, font it's using exactly for this serif font, but it's very close to my Garamond. So go figure, right? Um, you, can, you can bring all that formatting in if you want to. That might save you some time if you're composing uh, and you want to, you know, include formatting that you can't even necessarily attempt in WordPress alone. Uh, you can do it in a Microsoft Word document, bring it in on a PC. But on a um, on a Mac, not going to be able to do it. Okay. Strange, but true. So that's uh, how to import text using either a PC or Macintosh. You get very different results but you can see that um, you can quickly bring text in to WordPress and then manipulate it further if you want to there and save your page or post.